So yeah, so I'm just uh, packed up here, trying out my new rear rack, and um, getting ready to go. Catching up with Shane, Nowhere Fast ADV, and Mark, Iron Bark Adventures, and um, yeah, just going to head out for an overnight camp. Getting welcomed by the dogs. <laughs> so, Shane is selling his CBs. Looking for something a little bit bigger. Yeah, so it's got this uh, 800 GS. Yeah, good. So it's about 20 past two, and uh, we stopped in at Crow's Nest. Uh, stopped in at the Nest Cafe, had a burger and a coffee. It's bloody good too. And um, and now we're making our way towards camp, which is Blackbutt Way. And um, this little track or route that we're on is. Um, I got it off the GOAT website and um, yeah, it's turning out to be pretty good. Looks like we're going near uh, Lake Perseverance, I think that is. There goes Mark. k 40k to go till we get to camp and uh, we are now heading down New Candina, New Can something or other road anyway I'll put it up on the screen this is going to be a nice uh, track nice flowy road so we should be able to get a bit of get a bit of time back. It may not be green but it's sure still looks pretty. Ah, 
don't know, he jumped out between you and me. He is huge. Oh, yep. He must have been visiting his girlfriends. Anyway, I've got that on film, I hope, so I can do a good slow mo. close to camp now so um, head into Black Butt I think and grab some drinks top up with fuel ready for tomorrow and then uh, get back into camp so yeah it's been a good good half day anyway so anyway let's uh, keep on going right. hey, it's good enough let's see how we go Leading up to this week, I had a bit of a crappy week actually. Stress, anxiety, I think, got to me. I had pains in my neck and in my head, a headache. And um, yeah, I didn't know what it was. And I, and I just think, I don't know, just a bit of anxiety again uh, coming in for the trip. Um, but attitude, right? It makes a difference. You know, I'm trying to teach my son and, and, and his team about attitude when they're playing soccer. You know, having the right attitude makes a big difference in how you play. Uh, in life as well, eh? it makes a big difference. Um, having the right attitude towards things is is helps. So to help with that, though, it's like, well, what do you mean by right attitude? I was trying to think about this, like, and I'm like, sometimes it's about like for me, I was thinking, like, especially for this trip, it's like I have a plan. So I had a plan. You know, we talked about I'll oh, come out here. You know, we had the camping ground booked, and this is kind of the track we're going to do. Uh, and for me, with just with that anxiety picking up a little bit, I'm just like, focus on the plan. Plan is get here, stop here, fill up with fuel, have some to eat. Right, next task, next part of the plan. Let's you know, get that sorted. So I just yeah really found that uh, helped me yesterday and just get rid of that uh, bit of worry and anxiety. So um, yeah, I'll give that a go. Yeah, if you you know struggle with a little bit of anxiety with what's happening, you know just have the right attitude towards it and just focus on that plan. What's my plan? So we have got here, right plan, set up tent, go find firewood, get the fire lit, and then once that's there, it's it was great. So yeah, give it a go, because um, uh, yeah, it helped me uh, yesterday and and today is going to be a better day, right? Because yeah, wake up good decent sleep and um, now I can just chill have a chill ride and uh, make my way back home by this afternoon so yeah 
let's get out on the track so we better go get this uh tent packed down most likely i'll be the last one again so better pull my finger out all right catch us on the trail <laughs> Gonna make our way through there. So here is Newham Creek Campground and Retreat or something like that. I think the last time I was here it was about 14, 15, four, even more than that years ago. Been a while, should come back. And I should watch where I'm going. Yeah, New Creek Bush Retreat, that's it. come into the Aguila National Park. I haven't actually been through here before. So, uh, Archer Camping Area. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Same as yesterday, it's just dry at the moment. And, um, but yeah, so we've just come from up there and uh, come to a bit of a intersection, so time for a decision. So my route has got us kind of looping back around down to it's a rocky hole um, and then towards uh, the gantry. Um, but the, the guys are thinking it might be a bit too, too full on, so we're just straight towards the gantry and hopefully it's better. Hopefully. 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 Shane reckons memory. memory. He's going off of what? How many years ago? Memory. Yeah, so there you go. So it's been a while. But guess what happens with these trips? I make a plan with a route and everything and I do get ambitious. But Shane just changes it, so that's usually why I just keep being ambitious with my route because I know Shane just, you know, changes them. Oh, I remember once when I was three years old that I came through here, so all those stories. Yeah, so anyway, we'll uh, just keep going. And um, yeah, at least the temperature's good actually, so it's not hot and dusty. Scenery changes through this pine forest. It's just, all, it's just awesome. Oh, 
finish off some of that dusty dirty track with a nice windy bitumen road um, and it's a good 80k road which is nice so we just finished up having one to Simpson Village for the bakery it's a nice pie and um, yeah we're now just going to make our way back over now yeah, Glorious, back through to uh, Fernvale-esque type way, back to Fernvale I think actually, yep. Um, so just finishing off the trip, it's uh, a bit of bitumen really. So thanks for joining in for another Through the Valley's Adventures. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video.